Okay. Here we have a couple of examples about what is the latest announcements with the A60 Touch UI. Right. Uh, also announcements about sensor framework, sensors and then UI accelerator toolkit. So A60 Touch UI comes with a tactile feedback. Uh, it means that when user is tapping on the screen, they, they get physical vibra pools uh, so that they know uh, that they have been typing or, or tapping correctly. So right. it's very practical in, in the mobile context. When you are walking around and, and typing text messages, you know that you are typing correctly. So it's right. important in the, in the mobile uh, here we have examples how the touch devices can, can look like. So there might be touch devices with Verti keyboard, there might be touch devices with T9 keyboard, or then with this kind of a limited key set. So it's up to the licenses that what type of devices they want, touch devices they right. want to build. So these are mock-ups of like an actual product in, uh, so in these are actually just the, works. the images illustrating what, okay. the, the possibilities. what it could look like. Yeah, they could look like, but, okay. not, but they are not uh, images of any real, okay. real hardware. Touch UI comes with these three text input methods. This is the widest set of text input methods that any device provides. And, and there you have possibilities to, to input text with the virtual P9 keyboard. You can use finger, thumb, or, or finger. And, and then you have this kind of a handwriting recognition and the virtual verdict. And these together with more than 50 languages we are providing then we have quite multiple touch user interface that can be used for, for different segments around the world. Right. For end users all this means that they have more alternatives to choose the one they want because one size does not fit for all anyway so they have possibilities to pick the one that serves their, right. their needs best. Uh, then uh, if we take a look at the actual design, we want to keep it family and consistent to existing design because already more than 100 million people know how to use S60 UI, so they don't need to start from the scratch, but they, they can take the benefit of existing knowledge. Right. Touch UI comes with this kind of a toolbar, so it means that you have the most important functions easily available. You don't need to go to any, any menus or, or things like that, but you can quickly uh, take the functions there. Of course, it's uh, depending on application that we, which functions are the most important ones, so it's a context sensitive and, and therefore very fast to use. If we take a look how the actual design looks like, uh, want to make a phone call, you just find the name and hit the send button and there you go, you have that similar experience as now. So, as you can see, you already know how to use this. Uh, there's there's lot of cool things to learn in the same It's very easy to take into the use. Uh, if we think about what other things we have announced, so that's you are with tactile feedback is the one input method. Um, we are still keeping the existing input methods and existing designs so that people have more choices uh, what kind of a devices they want to use. Second announcement we made was the sensors, advanced sensors and sensor framework. It means that when you have a for example, incoming call and you want to make it silent, you just turn the device upside down and it silences the call. Or if you have a wake up alarm too early at the morning, you just double tap the device and it loses the alarm. So these kind of very practical things, uh, what you can have based on sensors. Uh, but naturally it can be used for, for less practical things and entertaining things like this kind of a goldfish screen pet you might have. So you have a small aquarium with that goldfish there and if you shake the aquarium the goldfish goes crazy and <laughs> it still settles down and things like that. Or think about what kind of a games you can have if the device recognizes how you hold it or squeeze it or shake it or whatever you want to do. Yeah. And because it's a framework, it means that licenses can add all kind of sensors into that and then developers can utilize those sensors with APIs. So they can, they 
can fully use and, and make different kind of applications so that users are actually entering quite interesting world with this kind of sensors. And this is not dependent on touch device. So there might be touch devices with the sensors or then without. So this can be built into uh, different devices in licenses which and then this was the third announcement, UI Accelerator Toolkit. Uh, that's a software toolkit that we are providing for licenses so that they can make 3D user interfaces, they can mix 3D elements with 2D elements, they can have all kinds of animations and, and effects. Uh, so uh, mess with the graphics totally in order to make very cool uh, new type of applications. So because it uh, integrates only the graphical layer of the user interface, uh, you can make actually 10 different looking music players in a day because it doesn't touch the, the, the functional part of the user interface, so it's very fast in design iteration. And then end users get really cool, nice looking applications and functions.